Hello， 我在这想看又是。OK 啦。OK OK Sorry， Thank you， Professor Shen。呃、uh, ，Good evening or good afternoon. I'm Xiao Liang Fan, a PhD student of School of Earth Sciences and Engineering, Nanjing University. The topic of my presentation is stability evaluation of, of lead or cadmium immobilization by that's with with the file chart. I will present on the following three sections. First, I will Talk about dynamics and、uh, availability of high metals in soil. Currently, high metal high metal production in soil is relatively serious, and in China, according to bulletin on the survey of soil pollution, the total over standard the standard rate of soil contaminants reached sixteen point one percent or two point eight percent are high metals. In response to the serious situation, China has also the、uh, serious of measures and solidification and、uh, stabilization are the main means. However, some sites still short-term effectiveness and、uh, practicality will face the risk of failure and need to be alert to it. So we should focus on long-term effectiveness and the sector. Heavy metals in soil occur in three phases, namely inert, label, and uh, soluble. Uh, the label and soluble phases make up the potential fraction which could be extracted from soil with、uh, weaker acids, neutral salts, and chelating、uh, agents, especially especially soluble phase. Related to the three phases in soil sorption, soil sorption consists of three important processes:、uh, adsorption, surface precipitation, and、uh, fixation. Metal ions can be retained in soil by sorption and precipitation,、uh, where they may be released to, the, to soil solution by、uh, desorption and、uh, dilution. And cause risks through plant uptake and、uh, volatilization. Often, heavy metal adsorption is also described in terms of two basic mechanisms.、Uh, one is specific adsorption, which is characterized by and less reversible reaction, including chemisorbed、uh, inner sphere plexes. And、uh, non-specific adsorption, which involves rather weak and less selective atmospheric complexes. In contrast to adsorption, surface precipitation is、uh, characterized by the growth of a new solid phase.、Uh, metals may precipitate either oxides, hydroxides, carbonates. Uh, sulfides or phosphates onto soils. Surface precipitation is mainly controlled by pH, and different precipitation species have different risks. The third principle mechanism of absorption is fixation or absorption. Heavy metals that are special. Adsorbed onto clay minerals and the metal oxide may diffuse into the latest structures of these minerals, or fixed into the first phases of the mineral structure. If you want to remove it, you may need to completely dissolve the particles. So the stability of different mechanisms is obviously different. Therefore, the key point of long-term stabilization is to increase the inert phase in in soil,、uh, and we need to pre-evaluate the stability of the metals absorbed by stabilization materials. In order to achieve this goal. 
uh, we had completed research on a series of biochars produced from rice waste. Biochar is a solid product obtained by pyrolysis of biomass. Uh, generally, pyrolysis temperature affects the surface properties of biochar and thus changes its absorption path for heavy metals and the stability of the products various in different paths. Therefore, there is an urgent need to uh, clarify the relationship between the pyrolysis temperature and the adsorption mechanism and to evaluate the risk of applications of biochars. Our study showed that uh, lead oxalate uh, or cloth light was the main product for rest straw or rest husk biochar produced at 300 degrees Celsius to imbibe the lead. Rest straw or rest husk biochar produced at 500 and 700 degrees Celsius mainly formed uh, hydrocyte uh, and uh, even uh, pyromor fat. According to the uh, solubility product, uh, it would be informed that the adsorption of lead by high temperature biochar was more stable. There is no doubt that uh, further sequential lead chain experiments show that uh, with the increase of pyrolysis temperature, the exchangeable lead on rice straw and, and uh, rice husk biochar decreased to less than 1%, uh, suggesting a significantly uh, low environmental risk. Actually, uh, biomass, uh, biomass and the raw material of biochar may be inevitably be contaminated during growth. So the risks of contaminated biomass-based biochar also need to be evaluated. Study found that uh, for the biochars produced from uh, rice plants growing on cadmium contaminated soil uh, with the increase of pyrolysis temperature, the orig orig original uh, cadmium in biochar was stable. Uh, the exchangeable cadmium in, in belied on biochar from equine solutions raised from 23.7% uh, to 4.85%. Uh, uh, therefore, we find that uh, uh, rest plant biochars are su suitable for the remediation for heavy metal contaminated soil by addressing its pyrolysis temperatures. However, the pre-evaluation of stability is only a part of the long-term effectiveness uh, evaluation. Uh, biochar uh, or other stabilization materials must undergo an aging process in the soil, such as the dilution, fragmentation, uh, interaction with the soil minerals, uh, biolog biological degradation, and uh, abiotic oxidation. Sorry, no, what happened to left? Okay, okay. Uh, this process is largely changes the uh, physical chemical properties of the biochar, most of the changes are added to the stable heavy metals, which are uh, value of stabilization, uh, and the plants or other organisms will be re-exposed to uh, toxic heavy metals. Uh, therefore, in order to achieve a comprehensive evaluation, the release of heavy metals during the aging process, process of uh, biochar is needed to be considered in the further research. Uh, finally, I would like to give my acknowledgement 
who Professor Shen, Professor Ho, and uh, Professor Shi. Uh, okay, that's all. Thanks for your attention.